Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well, everybody that watches my channel has seen my RV tours, but I'm going to show you something today I haven't shown you yet. Stay tuned. Yep, today I'm going to show you Mr. Charles's truck camper here. His truck is a Dodge Ram 2500 series. It's a 2003 model. It's got the Hemi V8. It is 4x4. He has the five speed transmission. He has a North Star pop up camper on a flatbed that he had installed here on, the, on his truck. Got the under storage boxes. It's on both sides, Mr. Charles. He's from uh, northern Idaho, and he, uh, he elected not to be on video, but we'll be able to hear him talking. Now, of all the rigs, you told me that you had a big uh, diesel pusher, kind of like this country star here. Yes. Why did you go to an RV this size? Well. Uh, my wife decided to stay home for the winter, and I just uh, I didn't want to, and so we I just I bought this truck and set it up the way I wanted because I figured it's more nimble, it's easier to park, and I don't have to tow a, a vehicle behind it in order to go places. I, it's very quick and simple to set up and break down and I hear you. Uh, move on. So with this truck, without the uh, the camper, with that V8 and the five speed, you're capable of 20 miles per gallon. Yes. That's true. That's correct. With the time, I, by the time I put everything on it, I'm down to 12 plus on a good day. I hear you. I'm gonna pan around here and let everybody get a good look. He's got his jerry cans here with his extra fuel, his propane. And that's an extra propane tank. You've got more propane in the in the storage yeah, here. It's, it's got a, a propane uh, place on the side. I can open it up, and show you if you like. Sure. Okay. Onboard propane. So the, the one on the other side was your spare. Yes, exactly. Does this uh, this camper have a uh, bathroom in it? Yes, it does, and a shower. And a shower. Okay, I'll show you the other side. I like how he's got his toolbox here. Just enough room. Good looking truck. Got the manual transmission, four wheel drive. Now he told me that uh, he he loves the Dodge Diesels, but they uh, they get kind of pricey, and he just didn't think it was worth all the uh, extra costs and uh, the maintenance and price that might go with it. And I I tend to agree. I don't think there's a wrong answer anymore for that. I have a buddy that's got. Uh, Excuse me. This is a cassette toilet, which you can just pull out and take into virtually any restroom and dump. Oh, that's awesome. Easily. And this. I, I saw in a parking lot, in a Walmart parking lot, and so I took a picture of it and then... Built it. Saw it no, wrote, wrote to the guy, easy hitch step, and it's an awesome step system. And it, plug, it plugs into your uh, Reese. Yep, right into your receiver. What did that set you back? I can't remember, but it was, it was substantial. I hear you. <laughs> they, really nice things like that tend to be substantial. Yes. It was a good idea. Yes, it was, and it was well, well worth every penny. Now I've got a, a buddy of mine that has a uh, standard cab five-speed diesel and he can get 25 miles per gallon out of his. He's got about 450 to maybe half a million miles on his yet. Uh, but now he's not carrying a big old camper on No, he's he not. That mileage. No. no, he's not. He's just got the, the flatbed on it. You know, you pay for comfort, let's face it. That's, I agree with that. This box was custom made. I had to have it because of the waste pipe going underneath there. Yes, sir. And the other one was a, was a standard box out of Des Moines. Mr. Charles here, he just has got ready to go and he put his top down. And uh, But he said he would pop it back up so we could see the inside here. Well, you can even see the inside without the top up if you want. That's all you want is the inside. Well, I, we, we, we like to see it all the way. Okay. <laughs> We're going to make you work. Right. So, here's his hot water heater. This is refrigerator. Man, that looks nice. That's an aluminum bed too, huh? Yes, it is. It's a lot lighter than steel. That's why I wanted it. Well, a steel bed will set you back, what, about 1200 
The alu aluminum, maybe 25? Well, actually, I got this for just around two. It was the uh, least expensive place. It was quite a ways from my home, but nevertheless, I made the trip down to have it put on, and I've not been sorry. The, the bed is actually built in Iowa, of all places. How about and that? And so is the camper built in Iowa. Cool. Well, that's not too terribly hard. No, no, no. But now, you, you, just only, you only travel by yourself with this one. Well, for now. I'm trying to convince my wife that this is... This the better is way doable. to go. This is doable. Yeah, but you just pulled her out of a 35-foot Class A. No, 38. 38. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's fixing to pop the top for us so we can see. Look at there. He's turning some kind of mechanism. I can hear it. There it goes. Wow. You gained another at least two feet there, didn't you? He can't hear me. Let's go inside. All right, here we go. And this is a 2000... Two. 2002. Do you have a generator? Yes, I do. It's in one of the boxes. Okay, so it's not built in. No. It will be when I get back home. It's going to be uh, where the toolbox, the red toolbox is. The toolbox is going to go in a... An underbed box up front. I'm gonna have two underbed boxes put on. I'll do my best not to put Mr. Charles here on camera. He come over to talk uh, to me, and uh, I'm here with Terry Lou. Uh, I did a video of her van at uh, Quartzsite, and he said, uh, "You're from the South, right?" And I said, "Well, yeah." He said, "Georgia." <laughs> I said, y "Yeah, you nailed it." A lot of room up here, Mr. Charles. Oh yeah, there's it's, it's, it's plenty well for it's not you know if you get two people in here on a rainy day, you're, it's going to be a little close. Yeah, you got to get along well. Can yeah. you can you go through to your cab there if you had to? Uh, actually, not because of the headache rack on the um, um, on the bed. bed. I understand. There's a little refrigerator. How many gallons of water do you have, or do you know? Thirty. Thirty. Yes. In this? The tanks under there, 30 gallons of fresh water, 13 gallons of gray water, and 5 gallons of uh, cassette toilet, with 4 gallons of fresh water for flushing the toilet. Wow. Now, with uh, the canvas top that we have in here, he's got a fantastic fan. Uh, what's the coldest temperature? Do you have trouble keeping it warm? Uh, it's not as super insulated, but I'm in Arizona in the winter, and so... It doesn't, it's not a big deal? No. You know, it, the, we've it's got... got a, it's got an onboard heater, and it's thermostatically controlled. It's kind of, It'll make it toasty in here. It's kind of windy, and I kind of expect it to be flapping and everything in here, and it's not. It's quiet. I haven't figured out, and the factory hasn't given me a straight answer on it yet, about uh, how much wind it will withstand. One mm -hmm. day I got, one night it was really windy, and I got nervous and put the top down and slept down on the dinette, which converts to a bunk as well. So you get, you have all screen up here if you want so you can have some really good uh, airflow well, it's got three layers you got your protective cover it's got a, 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 a clear plastic right window and then it has a screen okay can you talk to me about your bathroom here um well it's it's got a shower and i've i've often maintained that i don't know how superman changed his clothes in a uh in a phone booth because that's what it sort of represents well that's looks like enough. but that works yeah it works I haven't used the shower yet. I usually go to truck stops and use the showers there. But if you could, you could. Absolutely. When I thought it was too... Uh, so this, Mr. Charles, this right here makes a bed? Yes. All right. So that just yep. turns the and... The table drops down and that cushion goes on it and you've got a, a bunk down here as well. So if you're, if you're staying in a place and you think you might have to leave pretty quick, you don't want to put the top up, you just stay here. Yeah, for a quick stop during the night when I'm traveling or... Like I said, when it got really windy one night, I got nervous and put the top down and slept down here. And maybe I was nervous for no good reason. I haven't, like I said, I haven't gotten a definitive answer from the uh, how much factory. It'll, how much wind it'll yes. take. So he's just being extra seems, careful. It seems to me it'll take a lot. Awesome. Now, somebody wanted to buy a used camper like this. What What is a, a average price for this brand camper, this condition? What What's a good price for something like this? Well, it's, it's, it's funny... Um, new they cost like 22 grand. Okay. And I bought this for 6,500 because I drove back to uh, Wisconsin from Idaho to uh, get it. Okay. You know, 
and it took me two days there and two days back, and it was everything the guy said it was that uh, was selling them, and uh, so I, 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 I got it. So we were looking at six, six grand there, uh, somewhere right around 12 for the truck, and a couple for the, about two, yeah, just under two grand for the uh, uh, flatbed. Then the boxes. They're, they're another story. Yeah, they're, they're 500 a piece at least. Oh well, well, yeah, they get they get pretty pricey. Particularly the custom box was a little pricier than the stock, but and they they're proud of them because they're aluminum, they're diamond plate. Sure. And they. Uh, I've I've bought several. Yes. Then you know. Huh. I really like it, Mr. Charles. There's, I don't think I've ever showed a truck camper like this. I like well, it a I've lot. I've never seen one like this myself until I, I by fortune on the online I came across it. I hear you. It's. Uh, Sometimes the internet's a vast wasteland, and other times it's a font of information. So someone could put a rig together like this, truck, bed, camper, and everything, uh, with good quality everything for around 20000 Yeah. If you do your shopping and you're Work cautious, hard. Yeah. Okay. And good it seems deal. like a lot, but boy, I tell you, everything's a lot these days. Well, you want to be safe out here on the road. You want to have a good quality, dependable transportation. You, know, you want a good RV to stay in. You want something safe and built well. Well, before this, we had a Newmar Dutch Star diesel pusher, and I got to tell you, the manufacture, the, the the building of that is 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 sheer class. I mean, they, they do a good job. They do use good materials, and then if you take care of it, it'll last. You yeah. know, we were the second owner. There's a third owner that has it now, and if he takes care of it, fourth, fifth, sixth owner is not un unbelievable. Those are not RVs. Those are coaches. Yes. There's a difference. Well. My wife said it wasn't camping because we were in the. We referred to it as the apartment when it was set up, and I, I referred to it as the beast when I was driving it. <laughs> Good deal. But at least hey, you're still out here, and you got out of the. You got out of the Idaho to Idaho snow for the winter time. Yes, I did. Left the wife with a snowblower and said, well, "I said, honey, well, figure it out." <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I showed her how to use it before we left, but there no, you go. It was she. She. She decided to do it, and she referred to it as her cross to bear. I hear at you. At this point. Boy, we sure were lucky uh, that we got Mr. Charles here to show us his RV. He was fixing to leave the parking lot. He come over and talked to me and Terry. And I was like, hey, <laughs> I sure would like to see your RV. But uh, anyway, uh, we appreciate him being on the video. Didn't show his face, but uh, he kind of narrated it for us. And uh, uh, Mr. Charles, I can't, I can't thank you enough. You're quite welcome. For showing us My the pleasure. RV. My pleasure. The, taking the time and popping it back up. Uh, when we show stuff like this, it helps a lot of people decide what and how they're going to do the RV lifestyle. Uh, best I can tell, there's not a wrong way. Yeah. I, th I think the most important thing is just to get out here. Exactly. And uh, I'd like to give you a, a camper van Kevin sticker. Uh -huh. uh, I, I guarantee that uh, if you put it on the back of your rig, it, it'll lose half the value instantaneously. But... All right. I'll, 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 be sure and, I'll be sure and put it somewhere where no one will see it. There you go. That, that'll work. <laughs> Okay, thanks again, Mr. Charles. You're quite welcome. All right. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Okay, we'll see you again later. You guys take care. Bye bye.